What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fencer, Princer, SoundCloud, SoundClick, it's your boy Tone202. And I usually don't do MMA uh, reviews, but um, I got to talk about my boy Conor McGregor. I do not have a video for you, so if you want to watch a video, uh, you know, I don't even know where you can see the fight if you haven't paid for it, but eventually it'll be on YouTube. Nonetheless, I wanted to talk about what Conor McGregor's response was after Nate Diaz, Diaz beat him. And I also wanted to just give a little, like, I'm not a super MMA dude, but Conor McGregor is a genius to me, and I'm going to tell you why. For one, he still um, he still holds a belt in, I think, his, his own class, his own weight, which is 148 or something like that, 145. And he jumped up to 168. And uh, he took a fight in 10 days. Now, let's think about that. Ronda Rousey gets beat by Holly Holmes. And uh, Holly Holmes was asked to do a rematch, even though it would have been the highest selling. And she was like, well, I don't know if I want to take a rematch right now. She said, because I don't want to wait on Ronda to come back. Ronda isn't coming back until the end of the year, until October. So she was like, I don't want to wait that long to take a fight. So she took Misha Tate, and Misha Tate beat her. And uh, ironically, she beat her on the same night as uh, McGregor lost, and she beat her with the same uh, hold. Misha Tate choked her out. But nonetheless, it just goes to show you that you need time to recuperate, whether win or lose or draw. Now, Misha Tate, she's ready to go again. She's ready to fight right now. She's like, I'm amped. I'm ready to go right now. But these fights take a lot out of you. The pre-fight, the trash talking, it's just, it's a lot of buildup. And of course, it's a lot of buildup because it's a sport and you have to sell tickets. But nonetheless, when you get in that octagon, those fights are brutal, especially if you got a high energy person in there uh, like Conor McGregor, you're going to use a lot of energy. Now, getting to Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor said, you know, I stepped up, I took the fight in 10 days, and he took the fight because the other fighter he was going to fight could not fight. He backed out, something happened to him, he got hurt. And Conor McGregor would have probably stomped him because he was in his weight class. Now, Conor McGregor is the king of his weight class. Joseph Aldo was, he was a king for 10 years. Conor McGregor knocks him out in 13 seconds, first round. So, the Irishman decides, you know what, I want a fight. We had a guy back out, didn't want to fight me. I need to take a fight. He gained more weight to take a fight. But he's, he's, what he said in his interview was so prolific in the truth. You guys go listen to it. He basically said, you know, I took the fight and I stepped up in my weight class or in a weight class I'm not used to, and he said I was heavier, and then he was talking about how much energy he put behind his punches. And even um, the guys who were calling the fight were saying the same thing. Like, they were like, wow, this dude is really, look at Nate Diaz's face. Like, he was smashing Nate Diaz's face with that with that left he had. And as we all know, that's what knocked out um, his last opponent, uh, Jose Aldo. But he was throwing knockout blows. Now, what's really something is when he was being interviewed, when those two were trash talking, uh, he said he's going to knock him out. And Nate Diaz said, you better hope so. He told him that. He was like, you better hope. And uh, uh, and, and then the guys who were interviewing him was like, like, what do you mean by that? He's like, he better hope he gets a knockout. Like, like Nate knew that's what he was going for. Now, let me give you a little background on the Diaz brothers. For one, they're like uh, triathletes. These guys are super in shape. So you're <laughs> they're super in shape. They're super competitive. They're from Stockton. They're super competitive. You're not just going to go in there and wear them out. Just they're going to be tired. Two, they're heavier. Uh, uh, Nate Diaz is heavier. Even when they weighed in, I think he's like a little bit, he's a pound or so heavier than uh, uh, McGregor. And it made a difference because when McGregor was trying to hit him, he said, I used so much energy up 
trying to knock him out. Now, one of McGregor's uh, 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 competitors fought against him, and he said one thing he said about McGregor when he lost to him, he said McGregor is accurate. And McGregor said this about Joseph Otto. He said, listen, he said, look, uh, uh, jujitsu beats boxing. He said, but, uh, and, and, and then he said something about speed. And then he said, but accuracy beats speed. So you got people who are masters in different areas. Uh, you know, people are mastering the ground game, master jiu-jitsu fighters. McGregor is not a master jiu-jitsu fighter. He is a great striker. Uh, so you got people who are masters in that game. Like John, John Bones Jones is probably, him and the spider are probably the most masterful strikers I've ever seen. Like John Bones Jones has done stuff that I, I've just looked at over and over and over. So there are people who are masters, and he's good on the ground game too in striking and McGregor is so accurate that he kept hitting Diaz with that heavy left but it couldn't knock Diaz down or out simply because Diaz is a brawler he's used to it like like this is what he likes to do he's like bring it on you know what I mean a little bit of blood that's not gonna and he couldn't knock him out now if Diaz went down to 145 he might have knocked him out and that's just the plain truth. McGregor is not used to fighting at that weight. He used too much power, and he admitted it in the early. And when Diaz got him down, he pretty much suffocated him. And that was it. It's just a simple science, folks. If you're going to ask who the better fighter is, it, it, depends. It, it really depends on what pound they're fighting at. And, that, and that's just to be truthful. If Diaz comes to 145, he's going to get knocked out. That's just it. If McGregor starts training, uh, trying to go up to like 175, if he really, really trains for it, I would bet if he kept, he probably is going to lose his speed. But if he kept his accuracy, I think he would knock Diaz out simply because Whenever he swung, he landed, and they were good hits. So you guys, go check out the fight uh, wherever you can. Check out the highlights. Uh, and that's just my two cents on it. I'm, you know, when these guys go in here and lose, after all that trash talking, you see a lot of people really, really, really humbled. <laughs> you see them um, like, Oh man, I went in there, and you know, the guy he just uh, he just overpowered me, and you know, I you know, I got my ass kicked. You know, I just uh, I have to go back and train, and uh, I just wasn't used to that. No, McGregor had a complete breakdown on what happened to himself. He knew what his issue was, and I guarantee you, with that man's skill. If he trains for the right weight, I think I think he'll take another belt in that weight. That's just my opinion. Uh, the Diaz brothers, they're beast. They can take hits. Those boys are strong. They know what they're doing in the ground game, and that's just that. They get on the ground with you. You're going to have a hard time. They're, they're long limbs. They'll, they wrap around you like an anaconda, and they both fight the same. They're just dangerous on the ground. And that is not where McGregor ever, ever, ever wants to be. And uh, like I said, good fight. But, uh, you know, people were, they, they, they pretty much were like, hey, I think Diaz is going to take him. Simply because the way the man fights. And he was, he was fighting in his own class. Uh, that's, that's, just, that's just what I believe. So it's your boy Tone202. And uh, thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.